Hey everyone, so far we've talked about facts, we've talked about theories. In this lecture, we're gonna address a very important question. What is a law? So let's get started. Now before we get into the definition of a law, I first wanna remind you guys what the definition of a theory is, and it's really relevant for this lecture. A theory is the best possible explanation for why something happens according to the scientific community. Now a law is just a little bit different than a theory. A law is the best possible explanation of what happens to the scientific community. So a theory is the best possible explanation of why something happens according to the scientific community, and a law is the best possible explanation of what happens according to the scientific community. So because of these definitions, there's a really important claim that I wanna make. Theories do not turn into laws. Theories stay theories because they're explanations of why something happens, and laws stay laws because they're explanations of what happens. And an explanation of why something happens will never turn into an explanation of what happens. Now I wanna contrast two concepts that look really close to each other, laws and facts. Now, when you look at the definitions, they seem very, very similar. But it's really important to understand that laws are not facts. These two things are different. And the difference is very, very subtle. I want to explain. Laws are just really good descriptions of what happens. So let's take, for example, the law of gravity. The law of gravity states that if I take this rock and I drop it, it's going to fall to the ground. Let's see. Oh, look at that. It fell to the ground. The law of gravity states that that will happen. Now, is it a fact that if I let go of that rock, it was gonna fall? No, the scientists are not trying to say that this is what will happen because we are 100% certain that it will happen. They're just saying that that's what happens every time they drop rocks, is that it, they fall to the ground. And so that's their best possible explanation of what happens. The law of gravity addresses what happens. It doesn't necessarily claim what will always happen. So there's a very subtle difference between laws and facts. Now it turns out that there aren't a lot of scientific laws. And the reason for that is because a lot of people can't agree on what's happening. I mean, we can hardly agree on this idea that when I drop a rock, it's going to fall to the ground. That's something that was debated on for a long time. And finally, a law of gravity came out where everyone just said, okay, I think we can agree on one thing. When you drop things, it goes that way. That was kind of hard to do. Same thing with laws of thermodynamics. Like these laws are really, really hard to create because the entire scientific community has to come together and agree on what's happening. And that's really hard to do. Anyways, thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next lecture. You just watched a video from Amore Learning. We provide free math videos and we offer many online courses. We also provide free math tutoring via YouTube Live every Thursday and Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video to get access to all of our free content. And put a comment in the comment section if you have any math questions. Check out all of our courses on amorelearning.org.